Okay, so today we have something extra special to show you guys. I'm super excited to do this. I wanted to do this forever. I had this random idea come to my brain it was someday, and it was basically, what if every single time you skipped a treasure room, you didn't just get a 20% planetarium chance, you guaranteed yourself the planetarium. And I gave it some thought, and I was like, wait a second, that would be really cool. And I tried uh, seeing if there was a mod similar to this. I, I couldn't find any. And then I, I tried doing a the rules mod, which gives you like the sandbox whole thing. I'm not smart enough. I stuck with the rules mod. So then I thought, wait, this is the perfect opportunity. I can finally do the YouTube thing. So you know how like YouTubers are like, oh, I'll make a bounty. Go ahead and put Isaac Sussy in the game and I'll give you $7 billion. I basically did that and I had uh, someone super nice, got it done so quickly. I don't understand how, but basically every single treasure room in this entire run will be replaced with a planetarium. There are no treasure rooms. This is effectively us skipping out on a treasure room and only taking planetarium items. It is insane how fast this got done when I asked of it. It was nuts so. So what I wanna see basically is what happens if you only get planetarium items from your treasure room instead, right? We can still take things like devil room items, boss room items, and you know, if you get a treasure room item from a chest, obviously we'll take it. But this is in this uh, hypothetical scenario where there it is, we basically only get planetariums instead. I've never had a full on planetarium run and this is kind of our way of doing it right here. We get Jupiter, I literally, how could you do this to me as the first item? I mean, all right, that's, yeah, all right. I think I'll just walk in here, press Q, and you'll die instantly, especially if it's Duke of Flies later, bozo. I, I do obviously say a lot about Jupiter and how sucky it is, but it isn't a terrible item. It's just annoying. It's a speed down, and you gotta listen to the fart sounds over and over again? Come on. That's okay, because you know what? We have a planetarium waiting for us on this floor, and we will see what this one has. That's so exciting to know that every single floor you will get a planetarium. I just want to see how this run would turn out. Reason being is honestly, like a lot of the times, people say, oh, you should skip your treasure room in order to get a planetarium item. But I sometimes question it. I think, you know, the planetarium items, they're broken. Don't get me wrong. Uranus, Terra, broken. Give me a bit of Luna, give me a bit of Soul. But I, I, is it really that worth it to risk it all for a chance at one of those items? I'm very curious here. So let's get a full pool of planetarium items going on a full run here. Never seen anyone do this. I'm excited to see what the run turns out to be at the very end. This will also give me a chance to use items like Mars, which I always, you know, I shit on Mars. Oh, it, it sucks. It never works, but it has its uses. And I want, hello, darling, an opportunity to use it properly. And this is that time. There is our second planetarium. It feels so weird seeing both of these back to back on a floor. Again, like, I... This is a mod I got someone to make for me. It's not on the workshop. I couldn't figure out how to do this myself. That is so insane. Planetarium moment. There you go. As well as the fact that it's a tears up will help us. We are now a tiny dude that is fat. You don't even see the sprite too often at all, honestly, because you typically don't get double planetarium items like this. I did get hit and lose a bit of deal chance purely because I literally suck at this video game, but that is okay because I have soul hearts for the next floor and it's not impossible for me to get a deal. You guys have seen it. 60% is not a bad deal chance. This is highly plausible. When we're done, oh! Yes, I told you. Wait a second. Give me the pentagram. Do I even want to go in here? We've been going devils a lot recently. And while I think it's better to go devils with Judas just because of, you know, theming, I don't I don't care. Give me the angel deal. I, I I freaked out. I'm not even gonna lie. Like in my mind, I looked at the map as I walked in the room. I saw a planetarium. I was like, guys, I got three uh, three planetariums in a row. That's insane. I just realized what happened. <laughs> I just realized like the the bounty mod that I just put on right now. I, I just completely forgot. Hello! Saturnus. This one is one of those ones that are just genuinely good uh, and it's always nice to have. We don't need any of this even due to steam cell. I don't really care about that. Let's move on. Hoping for a secret room. Nope, that's okay. Ooh, hold on. That is a good trinket. Uh, you know what? Sure. I, I see no reason why not, right? I, 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 yeah, Swallow Penny's okay. Swallow Penny's decent, but this will give us a lot of things to look forward to, I think. Jupiter, why are you going so hard though? For real, for real. You gotta relax. Rainmaker fight, you love to see it. Wormwood and Rainmaker are the two, like, fights I love to find. Because they're so easy, dude. Uh, booster pack. Is it weird that I prefer this? I don't know. I mean, a damage clot just doesn't do a lot for me. That being said, I really didn't even get that much. I got a moon card. Yeah. And that gave me a bomb. All right. You know what? 
I don't care if you're gonna tell me that I got the wrong decision. I'm gonna say that I got it right. This is also giving us an opportunity to play uh, just a completely random character. I chose Judas here because, I don't know, he's a sick character, right? Higher base damage, damage multiplier, better deal chance. I mean, who doesn't love a character like that? Uh, I will take this. I'm even smaller. Could you believe it? I'm tiny. Ooh. Fourth Planetarium. We've had pretty good ones so far. I don't think there's any real stinkers in there other than Mars and Jupiter. We have one of them, and it was the first one. But if we can avoid Mars for the entire game, at least until the end, I'll be happy. Give me Terra. Oh, yes! I have a giant rocks. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, do I want to blow you up? Honestly, yeah. The charge Beggar, you're not going to do too much for me. I've never seen a higher deal chance in my life. I remember one time I got a fat deal chance. It was literally like artificial 100%. It was crazy. Gulp. Yeah, I'll gulp this trinket. That's actually a really good pill. Thank you. Terra on top, IMO. Just saying. I feel like free secret rooms for the entirety of the literal entire run. Like, sure, I guess Uranus is better for combat. Genuinely. Like, I agree there. But the utility Terra provides, IMO makes it the best planetarium item. Gertie should be fine. 11 base damage plus Terra rocks. We are kind of going crazy here goodbye bozo angel good uh i kind of want the speed up honestly just because of the jupiter moment glyph of balance is also really good gives you soul hearts let's break her open and get some key pieces going yoinky doinky thank you very much you know one thing i will say is seeing all of those like blue and black tinge items like that color scheme the planetarium color scheme so many of them in the inventory close together at once something about that is absurdly satisfying because you can't usually see that many it's like a one-of-a-kind treat i'm sorry that's oh it fixed itself all right never mind luna yippee I was like, uh-oh, my heart sank. Oh no, it didn't work. Nah, we're good. Something also very curious is that I had this uh, womb trinket, right? The bloody crown. And it gives you treasure rooms and shops on the womb. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. Also, I don't know how this is going to work. It probably just won't. Uh, more options is probably just tied to treasure rooms, right? I wonder if the mod works so well that the treasure rooms I get on the womb will also be fully just converted to treasure rooms. Or I guess, sorry, planetariums, right? I don't know if that's the case if it is this guy's a god holy moly the modding bounty was worth it whole i was so sick dude saturnus is going a little bit too hard this thing is getting way too many kills i think in comparison or rather on top of uh terra it's just kind of demolishing Ooh, razor blade that that sucks but cool i get a 1.5 percent better deal chance for my double this, this is the difference maker, I guarantee you. Alright, that's one. Looks like we found everything except super secret. I might find that later, but what I'm very interested in is I just want to get to the next floor and get another planetarium item. Only because I want to get to the next floor after that and see if uh, maybe the bloody crown would give me another, what, two more planetarium items? That sounds sick if it works out for me. I take the belly. It's juicy. Thanks for the hearts. Let's go. There it is. Beautiful stuff. Very intriguing. We got a, a, a secret room. I'm so, I've What the hell? What's inside of you? Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't mean to barge in like that. I, I'm so sorry. Oh, great. My bad. Ooh, it's blind. I wonder if it's a planetarium item. No! Oh, okay. All right, listen. I, I said I would try it. I, I will give it a good shot, a genuine shot. I will try to use it effectively. I, here we go. Yay. Obviously, that was just a bozo way to use it. It was for a meme. I, I know I'm going to use it properly. There you go, a little bit of a usage right there. Hold on. Use it to get past Mask of Infamy. Things are cooking. Oh, look at the burst damage on Mars. Wait, hold on. Maybe this is the Mars Redemption arc where I also use the speedrun a little bit. Neom. Thing about getting tiny and Isaac is that your hitbox actually does reduce, so it makes it really easy to do things like sideways walk, or rather diagonals, right? Like woohoo. Diagonals are stupid easy when you're uh, small. I can even do it like without even stopping, just because the hitbox is so small. One makes you small. <laughs> All right, you, you got jokes. Thanks, game. Broken watch. All right, I might be small, but I'm not that minuscule. I can't make that. I got my limits. Secret. Oh, reverse card. Stars! Stars, stars, stars. Well, we have to do this later, right? Because our first starting item is a planetarium item because we just were next to it. And I don't exactly want to get rid of it. I'll do it at the very end. 
Alright, pop the Belial. 11.38 base damage should be enough to deal kind of gargantuan amounts of damage to her. She really is just not living long. There you go. Uh, we take, um... I'm feeling, I'm feeling down today, actually. And then the Angel Room has a um, shield. I'm gonna push this guy into the wall like a bully. Get in there. World's fastest angel fight. Guys, what if it, the angel fight was Nightcore? <laughs> Oh, I went into this room, but I didn't even realize that there's a secret room below me. Which, these are important to get, just because of the heal and the extra tier rate, right? Thank you. I'm a little bit stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's another crown. <laughs> Wait, this is like, perfect. This is, if, if the treasure room thing works, right? Like, if... Every single treasure room is literally hard-coded to be a planetarium. And I have, what, three more stocked up, ready to go? This is going to be so cool. Oh my goodness. It is the perfect run. I love this. What is in here? It is Venus. Very cool. Perfect. I'm so happy at that. That's so cool. Mama Gerd, I don't have flight today, which means this will be the worst fight of my life unless she decides not to do anything. Actually, I'm still gonna get hit. Uh, range up. Yeah, I don't really care about HP, right? Good angel chance. Uh, we have a full key piece. I don't care about Spirit Destiny as much as I care about Hollowed Ground because at least Hollowed Ground is fun. How can I effectively use Mars in this sense? I can get to that bomb faster than you- Oh! I just- I just broke time and space. Wait, hold on, do it again. No way. I'm- I'm the Flash. I became him. I- I, I don't have flight, I promise you. Boom, 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 no flight, but I can Mars dash past it because I'm so small and so fast that I'm actually clipping through everything. This is cool. All right, we learned something new. We learned a new synergy. Mars plus Pluto is actually a god synergy where you can just effectively have flight. Look at that. So interesting. And that's a synergy you won't really see that often because you need a double planetarium play to get that off, right? So we actually learned something new by doing this, which is always something I'm searching for. And I'm very happy it happened. All right, Mars, you've redeemed yourself. Even for this one scenario, for just only today, you did it. Thank you for showing up. An arcade over here with a starter deck and all the money in the world. Also, I, it doesn't matter if I have money, I'm just lucky. Wow, another just one try, huh? I'm just gonna go for it just because I can. Ah. Well, there was no real reason to go for it other than just pure fun for myself, which I got, so success. I don't have flight. I'm so, I, I honestly thought I had flight. I genuinely did because I'm so used to just being able to just go woohoo. I imagine it works on rocks, right? Like I can get in here. Yeah, I can. not Wait, no, I can't. Yeah, I can. I'm in here, right here. And I can just clip out. Okay. So I just have to remember that I effectively just don't have in flight. I just have flash invincibility. Now I'm curious, does this work on spikes? Like how I got hit earlier. There's our other planetarium. Or like red poops or something, right? Can I clip through this without taking damage? Holy! That's so cool! Yeah, red poop, don't eat him. Give me this planetarium. There you go, there's one of the good ones. Oh wow, okay, we are demolishing lots of planetarium items in the inventory right now. Very cool to look at. Also, our tier rate is just kind of a little nutso. Slight bit unfair. I will not be able to fight Hush, so that is a bit unfortunate, but not the biggest deal on Earth. That guy got demolished. Look at this guy. He thinks he's about to beat me. Yeah, no. <laughs> the burst damage is so nuts, dude. No deal. That's okay. We got way too many than I should have gotten in the first place. Let's go down. Oh, let me try it on Brimstone. If I get another Brimstone fly, I'll try and proc it and then phase right through it. That way I just, I, I certify how much of the flash I really am. Become a superhero in Isaac. I want to see this happen. Uh, another reverse <laughs> stars. Okay, dude. Uh, there's a higher event here. So I guess we'll take it and then take the double reverse stars with us. I could also force that interaction with the lamb, right? The lamb has a brimstone attack. I could just wait inside of the room long enough for uh, the lamb to do brimstone. And then maybe I can see if I can phase through it. Don't leave just yet because we do have a shop and planetarium. Oh, right here. I phased through it. I, I'm i God. I'm literally him. I am untouchable on all accounts. So many planetarium items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Can I count? We'll find out. So sick. So absurdly cool. Jesus. Spider Mod Gaming. Okay, that's every secret room found except the super secret rooms, which I don't care about too much. What I care about is beating uh this dude. This dude tends to be a demon. I don't know. Maybe uh, it's just you though. And after beating this dude, I want to see what these double secret room reverse stars are going to
going to have for me. This is taking a while. Broken stopwatch moment. Oh, I, I timed it how I usually time it. Obviously not the case. Broken stopwatch is going a little bit too hard. He's working overtime right now. Goodbye, Shayton. Oh, you know what I haven't done in a while? Taunt. <laughs> I, I just like grew 10 times in size because of the taunt. Ow. 20 tier rate is not okay to have here. Jesus, that's so fast. I hope I get a rock bottom. Chest, chest. Ooh, I like ceremonial robes. I'll just take that right away. Money equals power and sanguine bond. Um, seven seals is okay. You know what? I'll just take them all just so I can activate permanent negative, not invulnerability. Permanent negative offensive ability. Uh, I don't exactly think it's the most worth the thing in the world, but it's fun to do. So I will say that going all planetariums seems to be highly worth it, right? In terms of power scaling. But I think the run variety, if you were to do this so many times, if in theory this were to be genuinely possible, it wouldn't be as fun, right? Because there aren't a lot of planetarium items. There's a huge pool of treasure and pool items. You know, if I were to do another one of these, I'd probably just get a very similar run. <laughs> the only thing that's making the difference here are the devil rooms, the boss rooms, angel rooms, etc. However, for the time being, I am having a grand time. An absolute blast. In here, we have more things. You know what? I'm just gonna press double Q moment. Here we go. Q, Q. Oh! Okay, now it's time. I actually get four rolls here because I get to put down my Book of Belial. Can I get a rock bottom with Hallowed Ground? Oh! We do get something. Death Certificate. Um, I'm gonna pick up Glitch Crown. That, oh, all right, we got lo-fi, rain, pouring down, TV set, everyone sad and depressed. Every single title card has a space in between uh, every single letter. Lo-fi specialist dance. And doing this will also give us what we've been waiting for the entire game, which is while we do have, yes, a bunch of planetarium items, I want to see the cool synergies we can get going here. Should be in this room, I, I think, right? There's the R key, all nice and animated all the way down there. How you doing? You're hiding from me, I know you are. There you are, jeez, hello. Okay, take Glitch Crown, been a while since I've had a death certificate moment. Uh, and now all we need to do is get another roll for the D-Infinity, roll that again, get some chests, have a great time. You think lasers can stop me? I have the power of God. Let me in this room. Double gate? <laughs> yeah. Nothing personnel. Shrub gaming. Oh, that, that is sad to look at. I'm so sorry. Thanks for the charge on my D infinity though. But full charge, ready to go. Let me in this secret room. Let's see what we can get cooking. Rock bottom. There it is. Okay. An R key. <laughs> I think, oh boy. <laughs> See, my dilemma is every single time I get an R key, right? I basically have to decide if R keying will provide more content overall. The idea for this video is, haha, every single floor is a planetarium. Wouldn't that be cool? No treasure rooms? Let's see how this works. And I kind of accomplished that. I, I did what I needed to. Pressing R key won't do anything. I'm just gonna breakfast the planetarium pool. I have glitched crown. I'll get past two more floors before I breakfast. It just won't be effective. So I believe we should go roll mode instead. I also just want to get hit in general at the very end of this just to increase my tier rate to gargantuan 17.50 tier rate. You guys saw it earlier by the time we have finished uh, the dark room. It was pretty, it was huge. It was a large tier rate and I want to achieve it permanently due to rock bottom. I'm excited. So far, the only pedestals I've actually had to even roll is the secret room, so it's not like I even have a choice. It almost feels like I just- What?! Oh, I have Venus, that's right. Oh, my bad. Let me back in here. It almost feels like I'm just destined to roll the secret room, just because I don't have anything else to roll. Emperor. This does nothing on last floors as far as I know. Since it's supposed to teleport you one floor forward and have you fight a boss for a free uh, boss item, yeah, there's no extra floors past the dark room, is there? Boom. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All of that and more. Thank you. Give me this. We will save the Mega Mushroom for very last. We'll do this when I, uh, basically I'm just gonna explore everything, get my stats up, and then we'll fight Mega Satan like that. Honestly, Unsung Hero, genuinely a Neptunist. What, what is this item? This thing is making me shoot at such an abnormal tier rate. We got this super secret room, which has a beggar. You're joking me. I can't believe it. Ooh. Forget, forget me now. Oh, forget me now. Wait, do I want forget me now? I don't know, right? I mean, probably. I wouldn't be able to beat Mega Satan, but it'd probably be more fun overall. We'll just go for that, I think. If I'm super duper gamer mode too, I can also take D-Infinity with me to the next floor using the bug. So what we'll do is I'll just bomb myself. Ow. Spawn Hallowed Ground. Pick this up. Use it. 
stack up everything we need to, and then roll it, I guess, right? Okay, balls. I don't care about balls too much, to be honest. I'm just gonna go guess for an ultra secret. I These rocks are a little bit too large. I got a shop? <laughs> I can't even see. There's a mystery gift and I can't. Okay. Hey guys, here's the ultimate gamble. When's the mystery gift going to show up? Take this. Let's use it in the secret room again because why not? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, man. Okay. I want to see if I can take spin down with me. But once these rocks stop orbiting me, I am being orbited by planets right now. I cannot see. Every single time I enter a room, it's just uh, all balls all up in my face. I needed to stop. Okay, spin down dice is locked in. This will be the big test. I have to basically wait for this thing or all my rocks to go away, right? But this will be the big test. We can maybe even take spin down with us to the next forget me now floor and get even more broken than we currently are. All right, I've only done this a couple times. My hitbox is weird because it's so tiny. Uh, there's no way we to time it I, other than I just get lucky, I think. Nope, didn't get it that time. No! Ah, uh, I'm not even gonna lie, that kind of sucks. Oh well, I got rock bottom with a more billion damage. I had fun. Planetariums are broken. GG. Hey, I forgot to kill Mega Satan, so here's footage of Mega Satan dying. Okay, bye. <laughs>